How's it going everyone? I'm Andrew with Speed Tech Lights and welcome to an episode of Speed Tech Spotlight. In this episode, I wanted to go over how to sync and alt sync our Z surface mounts. Now this process will work with all of our Z surface mounts, but for example, I'll be using our multicolor Z12 linears. So I went ahead and powered up my units here. Now I have a multicolor red clear unit here and a multicolor blue clear unit here. And again, this is my multicolor Z12 linear. Now the first step in syncing is to get your units on the same flash pattern. So to do that, I'll take my two yellow flash pattern cables and I'm going to tie those together. And then after I have my yellow tied together, I'm going to take that cable to the positive connection for a few seconds. And then you'll see my units will go to steady burn. And then go ahead and tap your yellow flash pattern cables one more time. And then you'll see your units are on the same flash pattern. Now to finalize syncing your units, you'll take your white sync cables and go ahead and tie those together. And then once you have your white sync cables tied together, we're gonna go ahead and turn off our surface mounts and then let them power all the way off and then we'll turn them back on. Now my units are officially in sync. Now when I take my flash pattern cables here to my positive connection or to a switch, I can cycle through my flash patterns and then you'll see my units will stay in sync there. Now that's how to sync your units. And again, we used our white sync cable and our yellow flash pattern cables there. So let me go ahead and get these on a flash pattern here. Now for alt sync, you'll want to use your blue cables. So you'll see a blue cable here and a blue cable here. Now for alt sync, I want to make a group A programming and a group B programming. So I'll go ahead and call my red clear unit here, group A. And if I had multiple units, I'd take all of those blue cables here, and I'm going to take the blue cable to the positive connection for a few seconds. So you'll see when that side of the light lights up, you're in group A programming. So I'll go ahead and take my blue cables over here, or if I had multiple units, I would take all the blue cables, and this is going to be group B. So I'll go ahead and hold this blue cable to the positive connection. It will skip over group A programming and go to group B programming. Now my units are ready for alt sync. And then you can put your blue cables away and then you can go ahead and turn your units off. So I'll power them off here. Let them power all the way off and then turn your Z's back on and then you'll be in alt sync. Now you'll notice my units are flashing back and forth between their primary and secondary colors because these are multicolor Z surface mounts. Now while I'm in alt sync, I can use my yellow flash pattern cables to cycle through my alt sync speeds. So here I'm in a multicolor flashing mode in slow. And then if I tap my yellow flash pattern cables to the positive connection, I'll go to medium. And then if I hit it again, I'll be in fast. Now, since these are multicolor units, this was my unit's alt sync in multicolor. Now, if I hit it one more time, I'll be slow in my primary colors. So this is my primary color slow mode. And then past that, I'm in medium in my primary colors and then fast in my primary. Now past those, I'll have my secondary color speeds. So again, this was a blue clear unit, so clear is my secondary color, and this was a red clear unit, so clear is my secondary color. Now they're slow, medium, and fast. And then past that, I'll be back into my slow multicolor speeds. Now you do have those nine options in alt sync with our multicolor Z surface mounts, but for our TIR series, you will only have slow, medium, and fast, in the color option you choose for those Z surface mounts. So let's say I'm in alt sync and I want to go back to regular sync. So I can go ahead and take my white sync cables and hold those to the positive connection for about two seconds. And then you'll see my units will be back in regular sync. Now let's say I'm in sync and I wanna get back to alt sync. Now to get back to alt sync, I can simply tap my white sync cables to the positive connection and then my units will go back to their alt sync programming. So you do have all of those options between sync and alt sync on our Z surface mounts. 
So for example here, I'll just go ahead and go back to sync. And again, I'll hold my white cables to a positive connection for a couple seconds to get from alt sync to sync. And from sync to alt sync, I'll simply tap my white sync cables. Now finally here, I have my green steady burn override cables. Now this is a steady burn override feature. Now since these are multicolor Z surface mounts, they will steady burn in the secondary color order. So again, this was a red clear unit and a blue clear unit. So when I take my green cables to the positive connection, that will override the warning mode and these units will go to steady burn clear. So if I want to have a setup where my red power cables activate my warning mode, and then I can set up a secondary switch where the green cables will override the warning functionality of my Z surface mounts. Now again, these will steady burn clear because these have clear as their secondary color. But for example, on our TIR surface mounts, those will steady burn in the warning color ordered. So that gives you a brief overview of how to sync and alt sync your Z surface mounts. And again, that same process will work with any of our Z surface mounts line. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.